This is Meekin's Butch, is just outside where I live. It's quarter to six, I'm just going to go and see if Harry's in. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Harry. Oh. Can you just say hello? Hello. <laughs> I'm filming for Britain in a day. Brenda, tell me one thing. They were out around filming yesterday for Dom. Is it Staffordshire Life? Was it? What were they doing? Taking photographs of the shop and me and the lads. Brilliant. How old are you, Harry? No. <laughs> Sarah. Go on. <laughs> Go on. I was 80 last of August. And what's the best thing about Britain? Britain? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with Britain. Nothing at all wrong with it. Brilliant. How long have you worked here, Harry? How long? Yeah. Well, I, I was born next to the shop 1961, and the war broke out. Second World War broke out in 19. 39, I started to work. I left school at 13. And have you worked here ever since? I've worked here ever since, yeah. That's absolutely stunning. What year again were you born in? 1930, August, the, August, the 19th, August the 19th, 1931. That's brilliant. And you love Britain? I do. There's nothing wrong with Britain. I don't know. Brilliant. <laughs> what do you think about the Olympics coming to Britain? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And you're looking forward to it? I certainly am, yeah. Oh, brilliant. And do you love all your customers? Love them. I love them all, Doug. You used to call me the love and duck man. Okay, I've just um, interviewed Harry for... Um, let's put the light down. I've just interviewed Harry for um, Britain in a Day. He's absolutely stupid. He's a star. He's been there for 80 years. Um, that's his life. He's shot there. Absolutely stunning. Right, I better get off and get these mince pies delivered. Oh. It wouldn't help if I actually turned it on. <laughs> uh, Sarah here. Yeah? Let's put the light on again. I uh, just tell you, I forgot to get written in a day consent forms. So, uh, really sorry. I'll have to get them if they come again next time. Bye. The other thing, um, we've just heard that there's possibly um, county council, or somebody's just said on the radio, I didn't quite catch it, something about the roundabout and that there might be possible um, moves afoot to save it. I really hope that is true. All right, cheers, bye. Ooh, I've just heard on the news, um, well, 20 past six news bulletin from Radio Stoke, um, I think something about the county council and the roundabout. I didn't quite catch it. I think they said they the, the haven't ruled out not saving it. So I'm um, I'm actually quite intrigued and quite excited. You know, let, let's hope this significant day we've got that roundabout saved. All right. If not, we're still well. We're still going down to number ten on the first of December to tell Mr Cameron, our Prime Minister, that uh, he's got to leave our roundabout alone and let us consultate over the road changes and leave. Okay, I've got to go now. Otherwise, I'm not getting market stall set up. Cheers, mate.